here in East Los Angeles, California, catching up with super flyweight boxer nine and two, Carlos, Carlitos Mighty Maldonado. Carlitos, it's been almost two months since your last fight at Finance Springs Casino against Joshua Franco. How's everything going? I mean, um, everything's going well, you know. We learned from that fight. We learned from our mistakes. So we're back at the gym, working on those mistakes and just, just ready, working harder, improving on our, on our flaws, you know. Because we're going to come back. We're going to come back. We can't end it like this, man. What made the Joshua Franco fight such a tough fight for you? He was He's an undefeated fighter. He was... Uh, highly ranked in the amateur level he had all those uh, championship in the amateur rankings why is it that when you stepped up to that challenge you knew it's like oh, you know what this is on a different level i gotta bring my game up now well you know what it's just that he had the amateur experience and you know he was fast and it's just it was like you said it was a whole different level and i wasn't used to it it was my first time fighting here in the states but no excuses he was the better man that night and like I said, I just learned from that experience. I, I took the loss, but I won an experience. So we're still pushing forward, you know? Did you, uh, did you have some butterflies while you were walking up to the ring knowing it was uh, a bigger venue, uh, a Golden Boy Promotions card, uh, knowing that your, your fight was being streamed uh, online? Well, yeah, you feel nervous. You feel the nervousness. But as soon as you get on the ring, that nervousness goes away. You know, you get warmed up, you feel the first punch. You ain't even focused about the nerves no more. You know, you're just right there in the fight now. Mm -hmm. After the, the fight was over, when you got off the ring, how did you take that, that loss? What did you say to yourself, you know what, I gotta get back as soon as possible uh, Man, in the gym? You know what, I was um, very disappointed in myself. I was kind of stressed out. The first, the first week or so, I just didn't, I didn't feel like coming out talking to nobody, you know? Because I thought a lot of things over, you know? I sometimes even debate if this is what you want to do. But I decided, you know, I'm already in this. I've been doing this for eight years already. So I can't give up now, you know. I gotta push forward and just just put my all into it, you know. There's that's, no quit, there's no quit in this game, man. That's a good attitude and uh, your coach, your trainer, General Capetillo was telling me that there's no shame in losing uh, to such a great fighter. Uh, bound to be a world champ at Joshua Franco. Yeah. Um, so what's next for uh, Car Carlitos Maldonado coming here in 2018? Well, right now, um, we're training hard. We, we probably got a, a, a fight lined up on late March or maybe early April. Okay. So that's what we're getting ready for. Today was my first day of sparring. I was a little rusty, but we're coming back. You know, we're shining the dust off. So we'll come back. We'll be back, and we'll be ready, man. You were telling me, uh, Carlitos, that uh, you probably feel more comfortable fighting at 112 pounds than at 115. Why is that? Because um, the 115, the day of the win of the Joshua Franco fight, I woke up at the, at 113. So that that day of the weigh-ins, I even ate a tamal and I drank a chapurrao. Okay. And then I was and you still, still didn't um, gain that much weight. Yeah, so I just gained a pound. I was 114.2. So I think I think we could um make 112. You know that'll be a lot easier for me, and um uh, it's just a a better opportunity for me to um, to win championships at that um that weight class. And then after that, then we then we step it up again. You know? Did you feel uh, the weight difference on fight night against Joshua Franco? I mean, I spar big guys either way, you know, but I guess, yeah, I felt, I felt his power. Yeah, he had good pops to his punches. But, you but just spar that your, your, uh, your teammate, uh, Luke Santa Maria, right now. Right so. now, yeah, he's at 147, but he took it easy on <laughs> yeah, me, man. I know, you I know. know, he took it easy <laughs> on me. And, um, but uh, on the preparation for Franco, I was going to Montebello gym. Okay. And I was sparring 126 fighters, 122, oh. you know. So uh, I got I got the, the taste of the bigger fighters and, and their power. So it was nothing new to me, but it was just no headgear, smaller gloves. Okay. So that makes a difference, you know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know you have a great team behind you, Carlitos. You got the Capetillo family supporting you. Yeah. You got uh, your your manager, Tony, as well. So you're going to bounce back. What would you like to say to the fight fans regarding your return to the ring in 2018? Well, you know what? I'm sorry I disappointed you guys with that loss, you know? I let myself down, I let everybody down, and, but like I said, I got to come back and just prove everybody wrong because I know I got a lot of doubters out there because after you lose, you, you sense, you see the difference in people, how, how they treat you. You, know. you see who's still with you and who's who's Yeah, gone, it, right? shows you, it shows you who's your, who's your ride or dies, you know, it shows you who's there for you no matter what. And I, I, I lost several people after this fight, but uh, like I said, I'll, I'll be back, man. I'll be yeah. back.
Thank you for your time, Carlos. We'll be, we'll be supporting you in your boxing career, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos, Carlitos Maldonado, uh, ready for to come back in the ring in 2018, probably fighting at 112 pounds now. Thank you, Carlos. Thank you, man.